Hey guys, and how's it going? So today I want to walk you through my little pirate AM radio station. Uh, this is just something that I put together for myself. I do stream it live on IceCast. Unfortunately, my IceCast server is down because I don't have any bandwidth, but I am currently broadcasting. And I'll just kind of take you through how I put it together and what I used and that kind of stuff. So right here on the front end, I use Mix, and it is full-featured DJ software. As you can tell, I've got my MP3s loaded in, and I'm not playing off of Mix right now. I'm playing off of my Spotify playlist, but uh, this is, it does interface with all of your music that you have stored on your computer, and you can mix, you can crossfade. There's all sorts of stuff that you can do with the software, and it's free. So it's, it's just something really, it's just a cool piece of software to play with. And I've had really good luck with it. I've been using it about a week. And so normally I would just have like one of my cassette decks playing. Just uh, I've got like, I don't know, 50 cassette tapes that I made when I worked at a radio station. And uh, so I just pop those in and just have it going on a continuous loop between the decks. Coming down here, I've got an M-Audio preamp that is basically a four channel mixer. So the two tape decks, the computer are all connected and the microphone that I don't have swung out here right now are all connected into this. And I'm able to control that with the software uh, and just inputs and outputs on the computer uh, mapped to the channels on the mixer. And on this, uh, the computer that I'm using is a Windows 10 computer that I literally rescued from the dump. The only thing that I did to it is I put installed a new uh, solid state hard drive and a I, I upgraded the memory. I added another eight gigabytes of memory. So it's a pretty decent machine for what it is. Again, I got it for free. Uh, coming back here to the transmitter, I've got uh, this is an AM talking house transmitter. Now, these were used by realtors. They were put in houses. There's a chip on here that records five minutes of audio. And so you would record your message about the house, and this would play on a continuous loop. You'd pull up outside the house. There'd be a sign out in front that would say, hey, tune to this radio station and learn about the house. And then on your over the radio, you could hear all about the house that you were stopped in front of. I had to do some cleaning up on it, uh, which is why there's a whole bunch of added gear. It's not just because I like blinky lights. Okay, so it is because I like blinky lights, but it, it serves a purpose. So the AGC circuit in this transmitter is pretty much non-existent. And so one of the first things I added was a stereo nano compressor. And I know it doesn't make much sense to have stereo on AM because AM is mono only, but when I go to upgrade to CQAM, It'll, it'll make more sense. Uh, but right now, that is acting as the AGC circuit. And as you can see, i am got my level set pretty good. I'm clipping a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, graphic equalizer to further clean up any sibilance or anything like that. And I just added this. I was getting a weird 60-cycle chirp uh, coming out of the transmitter, and I don't know where it's coming from. And I added in this piece of equipment, and it went away. Uh, this is a dynamic noise reduction system. I had it on my tape decks, on my stereo, but I pulled it for here. Um, and it's turned out to be quite useful. I have the sensitivity turned down pretty far. Uh, it is active. But it just did more. It got rid of the 60 cycle chirp. I don't know what that was coming from. But anyway, uh, over here is a Windows 7 machine that I would be running my IceCast. So I'm sorry, it's not Windows 7. I just threw Ubuntu on it. I, I'm, I'm new to IceCast. I'm relatively new to Linux. So I had a huge learning curve to try to get, uh, get that up and running. It's not running right now again because I don't have any internet bandwidth. Uh, yay, Frontier Internet. So that is a quick tour of my AM radio station. I get about a half mile coverage with this. I'm looking to upgrade to AM stereo, which is a CQAM transmitter. And I looked it up and, and it looks like Harris 
makes one, a build your own kit. So that'll be my next upgrade. I would like to have like a normal, I guess like a mixer, like a physical mixer. But for what I'm doing with this, this, uh, this works out really well. All right, guys. Talk to you later.